Hi guys, today we are going for Jenny's Astrology and Numerology. So this is Jenny and I've also done her palmistry. You can click on the card above to check that out. And she's born on January 16, 1996. So what is her sign? Her zodiac sign is Capricorn. The birth number is 7. Now let's go deep into Capricorn. We see that Capricorn people born between December 22nd and January 19th are Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn which is a slow moving planet and thus most Capricorns rise late in life. They also suffer from bad luck but these are actually challenges set by Saturn and thus if they fa face them they will earn a lot of success. They are the most so hard working sign of the zodiac along with Virgo. Politics is the most recommended field for Capricorns as they are pragmatic. In fact any governmental job applies to them. The latter because it is a straight path leading to a fixed retirement. Accounting is also suitable for those Capricorns good at math. The arts and entertainment fields might not appeal to them, but acting is highly recommended as the world's act greatest actors and actresses are Capricorns. However, this sun sign due to challenges imposed by Saturn encounters a lot of hardships which leads to pessimism and an overall negative outlook on life. Depression can be said to be synonymous with Capricorn. They also start blaming other people for their own failures when they get angry, and this can lead to broken relations. Thus, only when the Capricorn faces the challenges imposed by Saturn and does not shy away from them will they achieve success in life. They also need a partner who can stand their depressive moods and console them instead of misunderstanding them. So Capricorn is a mixed bag. Uh, they are hardworking, but they need someone who understands their depression and only they can then start relationships with them. So this is what Capricorn needs. And the uh, Saturn gives the hardships which they have to face. So in this case, they have the most bad luck out of any zodiac sign. So Jenny, she would be facing a lot of hardships, a lot of adversaries, but through hard work, she can face all of them and get the success. So now let's go to her birth number. Now we see her birth number is 7. So people born on the 7th, 16th or 25th of any month have 7 as their birth number. 7 is ruled by Neptune, which gives these people a mysterious nature. They are very spiritual nature. They are also philanthropic, though not as selfless as the birth number 6, which is the most philanthropic number. Birth number 7 share the originality with birth number 5, but what differs between the two is that the former has original takes on subjects such as politics, religion, which they mostly keep to themselves. The latter birth number cares more about making money out of their ideas than keeping unique views on particular subjects. So 5 are more materialistically driven, 7 are more spiritually driven. Birth number 7 people are very intuitive and their unique perceptions on things makes them excellent writers of fiction. They will introduce their original ideas in whichever profession they belong to, but money will not be on the forefront of their minds. However, they have weird viewpoints which might affect their professional life badly in the long run, which Oscar Wilde was a very famous writer. His personal life also affected their professional life and he was a birth number seven. Now, in love, they are extremely successful. They tend to understand their partners very well. On the downside, their partners will be confused about birth number seven's true people's true feelings. Neptune supplies these people with a mysterious personality, so it is difficult to determine what they are actually thinking about as they mostly keep to themselves. Thus, as long as birth number 7 people are able to balance their professional and personal life, they will achieve success in both. Now let's look at other famous birth number 7 people, Oscar Wilde, the writer, Al Pacino, the actor, Elton John, the singer, and Francis Ford Coppola, the director of mostly known for The Godfather. So when we combine 7 and Capri Capricorn, we get the mo one of the most non-materialistic, not more non-materialistic than birth number 6, but one of the most non-materialistic Capricorns out there. This type of Capricorn, Jenny, will be more focused on her personal life than her professional life. Uh, she will be more focused on the spiritual side of life than the materialistic side of life. So that's what she has going on for her. So guys, that was all for Jenny's Astrology and Numerology. And remember, you can buy my book Astropom Numero. It has all three astrology, palmistry, numerology in one book. It's very cheap. It's available down in the link in the description below. And guys, if you need an astrology reading, if you need a palm reading, if you need a numerology reading, so you can go and click personal reading on in the description below. It's uh, very less, it costs only $5, so it's uh, very less and you can get the best service possible at a very low price. So that's all for Jenny's Astrology Numerology and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you, goodbye and don't forget to subscribe.